Hey, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue. Today we're grilling up a cowboy ribeye steak on a gas grill using a technique called the reverse sear. All right, here we have our Creekstone Farms Master Chef Choice Cowboy Ribeye. It's a big, beautiful steak with lots of fat running through it. We just want to take a look and see if there's anything we need to clean up. These come trimmed really nice. Uh, of course, it's totally optional, but if you want, you can take off some of this fat from the outside just to clean that up a little bit. I don't feel anything else funky going on here. It's a really good looking piece of meat. All right, so here we have just a little bit of oil, just enough to really let our rub stick to it. We're gonna rub our steak today with Cattleman's Grill Steakhouse seasoning. This is a really great savory rub, perfect for beef. We'll get some really nice coverage on there. Hit it with sides. Now we'll just sort of let that tack up to the meat and then flip it over and season the other side. Hit this side with a little oil for binder. Cattleman's Steakhouse. And we'll give this probably five minutes to really set up on the meat and then we can take it out to the grill. Now we're cooking our steak on a Napoleon P500 RSIB gas grill, but we want to add some smoke flavor. So we're going to use a gas grill smoker box underneath the grate. All right, so we're going to remove our cooking grate and we'll place our charcoal companion gas grill smoker box directly on the sear plates. We'll fill the smoke box with Cattleman's Grill Gourmet Hickory Wood Chips. We're going to pour just a little bit of water on top. We're not going to soak them because we don't want it to really smolder, but we do want to slow the burning process so that we're not constantly adding chips. For the reverse sear, we're going to cook our steak on the half of the grill that does not have heat under it. This allows us to grill indirectly. With half of our burners on medium heat, we're going to place the ribeye in the opposite side of the grill. Now we'll slowly smoke the ribeye until it reaches about 115 degrees internal temperature. Using our Maverick PT100 instant read thermometer, we'll check and see when that internal temperature reaches about 115 degrees. When we hit 115 degrees, we can transfer the steak to Napoleon's side infrared burner for a high heat sear. We want to get a good sear on both sides of the steak, but we're shooting for a final internal temperature of 130 degrees. If you're finishing your steak in the main cooking chamber rather than the side burner, remove the steak from the grill and turn your burners all the way up to high. When the main cooking chamber reaches about 500 degrees and is nice and hot, you can put that steak back inside and sear it on both sides. Again, we're looking for an internal finishing temperature of 130 degrees. After removing our steak from the grill, we allow it to rest for about five minutes. The reason we allow it to rest is we like to let those juices redistribute throughout the meat. The great thing about this reverse sear cooking process is that it really allows the meat to cook evenly. And you can see looking at these slices that this is cooked pretty evenly all the way through because we bring that meat up at a pretty uniform temperature over a longer period of time. Of course, we like that seared charred flavor on the finished product, which is why we sear it at the end. Thanks for joining us for the Gas Grill Reverse Seared Cowboy Ribeye. If you like the video, please subscribe. And for more recipes, tips, and techniques, you can head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.